Good morning folks, I had a slow start this morning because I felt really tired from editing last night's vlog late but I've had to ask Stuart to come and pick me up because we had a delivery of gas and that gas is Argon 5% CO2 for the MIG welder which he assures me is better than using straight CO2, I believe him and while Stuart was here we unloaded some more doors that Dave has got for me these little beauties, they're a matching pair glass doors with closers on there so I'm going to whip these two bad boys off and we'll have a matching pair, I'm glad I didn't paint them now on the way to work so we're still picking up some push fit pipe 40mm waste some paint and some 20mm mains pipe to sort of transport the mains water supply across to where the sink is don't know if I'm going to get it done today actually because by the time we get back we'll have to go and pick the bloody kids up Just a quick buzz into B&Q to pick up some paint. Oddly enough, I think it's cheaper in here than it is in Screwfix or Tool Station, so needs must. Get the pipe in there. So that big pipe should be the mains water pipe, the MDPE stuff, and that 15 mil is actual barrier pipe for for running around to the things. What are they called? Taps. Hello Screwfix, my old friend. Back in the unit. This is the hall. That's what we picked up, barrier pipe, mains water pipe, the fittings to get me from A to B, and some paint to complete all of this. You see where we finish the transition, and I obviously want to paint in here. Now we can start on all of this wall and get it looking something like, and at some point change these doors out. They look quite good, I think. They're going to look smart. Also picked up this gas. I think I mentioned it already. But what we've got is a replacement CO2 cylinder for the one that I've pinched and used on here. So I'll probably run that empty. And then at least I've got an extra. And then this one is argon CO2. It's got 5% argon in there. Eh got 5% CO2 in it and I was told this is what I want for the MIG so fingers crossed it'll work a treat I've just noticed though it's a completely different fitting so I'll have to change the regulator well I hope I've got a reg in here that'll do it oh, and it's got a flow meter on it oh, that's bloody perfect isn't it exactly what I need That's the first run done. So she pops across through the rafters there, runs across to that corner, and then we need to put a 90 on there, take her across here, and then down. And that's as far as we're going to get today. So the pipe work runs up there, across the top of that, across the top of there and we're going to join it there with a stop cock and a tea. Unfortunately for me, the time is now three o'clock. Time to get the kids. Right, we've got the children. We're just going to nip out and see a friend of mine, Jane. She wants me to do some work on her daughter, Holly's cot. Uh, so I'll nip up there, just gluing a few spindles on, I think. 
but the kids are going to starve in the meantime so what I'm going to do is a bit of Melton Mowbray pork pie which was left over from the quiz last night and some beef sandwich which was left over from Sunday's was it Monday's dinner beef and onion strong onion <laughs> Piece de resistance half of the onion. It is always nice to cut half of your onion into big onion rings. Beef and onion, they do flavor crisps called beef and onion, you know. Big, big slice of onion. Let's open up the bread once more. Big, tasty onion rings. I like them onion rings so much. Dad? Ah, oh, yes. I want some beef now. You want beef? Yeah. Yes. There is a juicy, juicy, tasty beef sandwich, no? Mmm. Huh. Very nice. I'm gonna try one little trick. Let's open up the sandwich one more time. Oh, the horseradish. There is very little left. We smear it on. We put on the lid. Mm. And now it looks even more appetizing. Mm. Oh my God. It's cleaning my nostrils so much. Oh, it's so hot. Mm. Let's take the children in the car. What are you doing with my camera? <laughs> That's my good deed for the day completed. Next job is Dominic's found the old queen and she is home. So the kids are going to go around there. Abby's happy about that. And I'm going to go and meet Craig in Beerheads to celebrate one month of vlogs. Do we carry on though? Stay tuned. Oh, let me get in. Oh. It's the old queen, ladies and gentlemen. It's the old queen. Let me get. Really well, and don't call me in and say anything. You're photogenic, though, Craig. That's the thing. Thanks. <laughs> There's my thumbnail right there. That'll work. That's a bunny shot. 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 That's a bunny but right, fuck, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking backwards for this one. Gemma's been kind enough to allow me to stay out for three or four or two beers. So now we're going out.